Have you ever wondered what powers your smartphones, computers, and countless other gadgets? Welcome to the tiny but mighty world of semiconductors, aka the brain of modern electronics. Without semiconductors, we lose the digital magic that powers our everyday lives. Now imagine a massive game of tug of war happening in the world of politics. On one end, you have the US, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan forming an alliance with the US as their captain. And on the other end, you have China standing by itself. These nations are fighting for dominance over semiconductors. Threatened by China's economic strength, the US initiated a trade war in 2018, targeting Chinese entities like Huawei and reducing exports of high-tech AI chips to China. Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, who predominantly produce these chips, have joined forces with the US and also imposed their own trade restrictions towards China. Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung have established operations in the US. US entities like Micron and Western Digital have also expanded in Japan. Now, you might think that with everyone teaming up against China, it would make things simpler. This isn't the case. Even though they're all trying to defeat China, they still rely a lot on China for trade. So while they're pulling against China in one direction, they're still shaking hands and doing business with them in another. China is the number one buyer of goods from Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. These three countries earn millions and billions of dollars every year from China that the US cannot match. So, despite six years into the trade war and extensive U.S. trade restrictions, my research reveals that Northeast Asian trade not only increased, but even exceeded pre-trade war levels, deeming the U.S.-led semiconductor alliance ineffective. This increase in trade within Northeast Asia, despite being sandwiched by two giants, U.S. and China, showcases remarkable resilience. And this resilience is vital, especially in the face of unpredictable events. COVID-19, Russia-Ukraine war, Israel-Palestine war, all of these things wreaked havoc in just a mere five-year span and counting. So, in today's increasingly fragile world, Northeast Asia's spirit of resilience and cooperation is crucially important in forging a brighter and more peaceful future ahead. Thank you very much.